couple quick quick tips modeling the car body. First, I start off with a form. I'm going to do a plane. Grab the bottom here. Do a two by two plane. Two by two. Say OK. And then I want to do symmetry, mirror, internal. So left side, same as the right side. You'll have your car wheels, of course, to model around. I'm going to do this without that, just to keep it simple. So what you do is you can double click to grab an edge, right click and say edit form, and you hold alt, the alt key on the keyboard, while you grab either these white boxes or the arrows. And that will add to it. Okay. So drag that down and then to add a little more detail around the corner, I hold alt and I drag this back. You can see I drag it back starts to make the nose of the car there. And then this part takes some planning. I have to plan the wheel. Uh, so if I want the top of the wheel to be this, or this, I have to decide ahead of time. I'm going to have the top of the wheel be this one. So I'm going to grab this guy. I'm going to drag this and this down by holding Alt one time at the top of the wheel. And I hold Alt to grab the front of the wheel and drag this down. You see it starts to create this wheel opening for me. And I can see I've created a hole there. Now I don't want to go and mess this up by filling that in with a weird sided face. What I want to do instead is say modify weld vertices. I'm going to weld these two and then weld these two. Beautiful. Now I've turned the corner and I've got all of these four sided face, four sided face. They're all four sided. As much as you can, you want to stick to that. Keep your model simple. All right, now I can continue and grab a couple of these faces. I can decide if I want to grab the top one or just this one. Add a form. I can hold Alt, pull this out, and I'm starting to create the side of the car. I can grab this one, hold Alt, drag that down. See, now I'm creating that wheel opening. Drag this out one time for the middle of the car. It's a car door essentially. One more time for the start of the wheel in the back. And now I can drag these across to create the top of the wheel. There's the top. And then the side. Holding Alt now. Alt and the edge. Drag that down. Great. My proportions are off, but I'm, I want to talk through this more than get the car proportions right. I'm going to grab the top of this to make a trunk, hold Alt, and drag that. You can see the spaces start to drag towards each other. I make them almost touch. Say OK. And now I can come back and use my weld vertices. There's a merge edge tool you could use instead. It would do about the same thing. So either way. So this one connects to that one, and this one connects to that one. That's going to weld that up nicely. <clears throat> Say OK. Now I can drag some faces down. So I'm going to grab this and this, edit form, holding Alt, and drag this down one time two times. I'm trying to match the faces here. And three times. Drag it down. Now I need to finish this up by saying modify weld vertices. And so these two come together. This one and this one. And then this one. And that one. Cool. And because I have mirror turned on, it's all together as a car body say OK. And that's how you model the basic car body. From here, this part takes some feeling. you got to come in, uh, edit these. Less is more, so you don't want to overdo it. Um, to get some of the creases, though, you have to. So around the wheels, you see on my car, um, I have a couple steps out. So I say modify, oops, modify insert edge. I can insert an edge, or I can sometimes easier to say modify insert point. 
and you can sketch around. Here I am making a triangle, sometimes that's hard to avoid, but you can come back and do some deleting later to still make it a square shape. Say OK. And you can start to create some extra edges. If I want to, I can delete out some of these lines so I still have some more squares. It'll still work. So you can start to add faces where you need to. Uh, one thing you'll notice if you double click these and say edit form, there's another trick. Control and Alt will add faces and they'll keep it creased instead of round. So that's how I did the wheel wells there. Control and Alt and you can do creased edges. That's how I also created the inside here. So I did Control and Alt and I can scale this in. create a little lip at the top. You can drag that in. I'm exaggerating more than I did, but you get the idea. Control and Alt, drag this down. And you can create some sort of interior. It doesn't have to be perfect, but in the rendering shots you want to uh, see a good side if you're doing a roadster concept. So that Control and Alt can be, can be helpful. Now everything else from there, it, it does take some feeling, so modify, insert edges, uh, you can see the little pinches I did on the hood. I had to add a couple lines in here. And so I have modify insert edge. To get the really tight pinch, it actually takes three lines. I found I exaggerate some of these first lines uh, to get them close, nice and close. So now I can grab this guy. I've got the mirror turned on always, so I only have to do one side at a time. If I drag it up, I start to pinch. That's how I pinch that nose on my car. And then some of these sides, again, you can add edges, or there's also a nifty command here, modify bevel edge. And that's going to put in a bevel for you. Now I selected the whole line, which in my car I did not. I actually, you know, I did these uh, round sides first, then I came in and I picked, you know, some of the middle. And then I did a modify bevel edge on that. And that will add in these pinch edges you need. You can pull these in or out to start to manipulate the body very specifically. On mine, I did the three edges to get more of a pinch, and I did a little rotation later to get some of that uh, rotated look that you see in that model. So if I pull this out, it's going to make a little shelf. See that there? Because it leaves this one in the back, and it pulls this one out. And if you want to look at your handiwork, you can go back and forth, visual style, turn the shaded so you can see what you're actually starting to sculpt. Now, do all these details I'm showing you now so you see the trick, but do that after you've got things like the curvature and the proportions nailed down. Only add complexity when the first step, you know, the wheels and all the proportions are done. Otherwise, you'll get into a big tangled mess before you know it. And remember, before you add details, also come into your bodies, right click, copy paste, so you've got something that really clean if you go back to that really clean body here. Undo a couple steps. You know, back to that clean body, you can right click, you can say copy, and then right click and paste. And you can call this, you know, I called it step one, so I can always go back to it and I just hide it. So happy modeling. I know it's it's a little bit tough and frustrating. I put a lot of hours into my car model. Um, put the time in you can and I hope you can spend some time manipulating it 
And the goal is to learn, to get the feel of how this T-spline body works. And if you have even a small success, that's what I'm hoping that you have. And you can start to feel the manipulation that you are in control of this T-spline body. And it takes practice. Uh, Grant Holberg, I ran into him uh, this week. He's done over 700 car bodies now. And obviously he's really good and really fast. Uh, it takes some practice and some feel. So have fun. Uh, make a cool car. Or do your best uh, to learn. And uh, do a rendering to wrap it up.